join me today for our time. As you can see, I'm in a different room in my house and we're going to have our time in here today. And I don't know if you noticed uh, when I first turned the screen on, but it's, it's stormy outside this morning and the wind is blowing and I heard thunder a few minutes ago, so you may hear some thunder in the background while we do our lesson. But that's how it is in Missouri, you never know. Some days it's sunny, the next day it may be stormy and windy. But I'm so happy you're here and we're going to get started. But before we do, let's talk about what you need today. We're going to do make a collage with crayon rubbings. So you will need crayons, um, several pieces of typing paper and maybe some heavier paper to glue your uh, pieces onto. Uh, you'll need scissors, gl a glue stick, and if you're an older student and it's okay with your family, if you're use, you can use uh, Sharpie markers. You might want a Sharpie marker to use also. So let's get all ready to do art time and let's reset our brain by singing and moving around a little bit. So let's clap, uh, jump, and we're making a collage, but that's kind of a hard thing to say collaging. <laughs> so let's say create. So we're going to be creating today. You ready? Here we go. Clapping first. Hi, I know, I know some of you who are out there. <laughs> Hi, Jacob. <laughs> Hi, Jude. Hi, Eleanor. <laughs> Hi, Danny. I think I feel like clapping. So clapping's what I'll do. I think I feel like clapping. I'm clapping, why don't you? Jumping. You can get up and jump around or just jump like me. <laughs> I think I feel like jumping. So jumping's what I do. I think I feel like jumping. I'm jumping and why don't you? Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. So we're going to be creating art today. So we will say, I think I feel like creating. Here we go. I think I feel like creating. So creating's what I do. I think I feel like creating. I'm creating a heart on you. Create, create, create. Create, create, create. Create, create, create. Create, create, create. Alright, let's get started. But before we do, I don't want to forget to say thank you to the young artists who shared their artwork since our last lesson. Maggie and Madison, Seth, Faith and Wayne, and Courtney and Haley. Thank you so much for sharing your beautiful artwork. And if you would like to share your artwork with us, just go to my Facebook page, Our Time with Mima and show me a picture of what you did or show me a picture of you working on your art. That's always so much fun for me to see. So today, as I said, we're going to be making crayon rubbings and use those to make a collage. So let's look at a work of art uh, made by an artist who made a collage. As you look at this collage, look for textures. Do you see textures in this collage? Some textures that I see that look really interesting look like wood. Do you see those textures? Now look for lines and shapes in the collage. Some lines are curvy. Do you see some curvy lines? And some lines are straight. And those curvy and straight lines um, go together to make shapes, don't they? So we are going to make a collage by using uh, crayons and making crayon rubbings. So a crayon rubbing is just when you use the side of your crayon, I'm going to put this down so you can see what I'm going to do. It's when you use the side of your crayon to rub on the paper instead of drawing with the point like we usually do. So be sure that you don't, you don't use the point when you're doing your rubbing. Uh, if you have some, 
uh, well-used pieces of crayons or some broken ones. These are great uh, crayons to use for rubbings because you're, you need a, a piece, and it doesn't have to be long. It can even be a short piece, but just so you can do it to make your rubbing. So this morning, before the storm started, I went outside and I made a rubbing. Can you guess what I made this from? Well, I put it around a tree and I rubbed on the tree bark and it made quite an interesting texture, didn't it? And this was another rubbing I did outside. This was on a little retaining wall and this was a concrete block. So I laid it on the concrete block and rubbed over it with my crayon and that made a cool texture, didn't it? And then inside I found some things. Oh, look at this. This is cool, isn't it? I wonder what kind of texture this would make. So lay it under your paper and then get a crayon. And ooh, isn't that a neat one? That made a neat texture. And if you want to go over it with another color too, that also can add another neat thing. Let's see what else we can do. Oh, I found this leaf outside. Let's, let's see what that kind of a rubbing that would make. Sometimes if you have something small, you can um, just tape it down with a piece of tape. Masking tape works well. And then lay a piece of paper on top. And sometimes even if you want to, you can tape down your piece of paper on top if you have trouble with it moving while you're doing it. Let's see what it did. I made a neat rubbing, didn't I? It's just like the leaf. I made a rubbing that looks just like the leaf, doesn't it? Let's see. Oh, I have a brick. Let's see what that does. When I went outside and found this brick, I also had a little surprise with the brick. Guess what it was? It was a little spider that was in the brick. So, I didn't bring the spider inside. I left him outside. So he just ran over and got another brick. Ooh, that makes a neat design, doesn't it? I wonder what would happen if we laid it on the side and did a rubbing on the side. Let's see what that does. Ooh, that makes a neat one, too. A little different, because it's a different side of the brick. You might like to make a rubbing on your carpet in your house, or if you have uh, textured floors like tile or a wood floor, you might like to do that. I'm gonna lay this burlap down and see what kind of a rubbing that makes. I'm gonna use this glittery crayon that I have. I don't know if that's going to show up very well where you're at. Let me get a, another color to go over it. Ooh, that's a pretty texture, isn't it? lots of things now that I can use for my work of art. Try to find as many different textures as you can for your collage so that when you get ready to start putting it together you will um, have lots of things to choose from. So I think I might cut this. What could I do with this? What would you do with this? I bet you have lots of good ideas on what you could do with it. I think I might make it into a building. It kind of reminds me of boards or bricks or something on a building. And I think I might make this be the, I might have this be the ground. I was just thinking of all the cool things you could do with this. I wonder what you would want to do with it. And since, hmm. I thought I might make that be the sky, but I don't know. I'm going to put it on a piece of gray paper so it will show up better. Let's see. So I think I will put this on for the... I think that will be the ground. So you know you can make your... You can use tiny pieces from your rubbings, or you can use bigger pieces. I just want to have a nice base for my picture of the ground, so I'm going to do that. And then, I think this will be a little house. <laughs> or I can make it tall like that. 
Let's see. I think I'll make it like that. If I make a little house, what else do I need? for a door. I don't know if that's the right size or not. How, what do you think? Is that a pretty good size for the door? Let's try that for the door. Doors always have to have doorknobs, don't they? So I could use another piece for the... So what you, you probably see, you know, when you get started, you think, oh, I need, I need more textures. Oh, look, this one, I think that this one is so cool. I might use that to make a roof on my house. And look, see this line right here? I think I'm just going to use that line that's already there. And this line across here, and that will kind of be edges of my roof. Let's see what that looks like. How does that look? That's interesting. And all these different textures are creating such a cool picture, aren't they? I wonder what I could do with my leaf. What do you think would be a good thing to do with this leaf? Can think of a lot of things that we need to add, huh? So when you get when you get all of your textures on there and you make your you made your picture like you want it, then you might want to go back and use a marker and add some more lines. Joyce. Oops. So you might want to make some lines and add some more details in your picture. You might make some grass, extra grass growing up there. And some, oh, you know what? It would have been cool to make some, use some texture paper to make some clouds, wouldn't it? But you know, I can't wait to see what you do because what you do will be totally different than what I did. Just remember that special thing that you add at the end when you're done. Remember, you always sign your name so people know who the artist is. And put the date on it, too, so they know when you made it. So that's one, one idea. Oops, I didn't glue that down, did I? one idea that you could do when you make your texture uh, picture, but I want to show you something else. Especially if you're an older student, you might like to try something like this. So, get your sketch pad. The paper's a little bit heavier, and you might uh, enjoy using that for this, and find one shape that is interesting and has a cool texture. So you might want to experiment and try doing some rubbings and finding a shape that you like. And then use that one shape and slide it under uh, the top page on your sketch pad. Get the crayons up here. And then start doing rubbings. with that one shape. 
And I'm going to move it. And let's see where to move it at. Oh, there it is. And see what kind of an interesting picture you could make with just one, one cool textured item. I bet you're thinking right now of other things that you could find in your house or in your yard. Oh, isn't that neat? I just used one color on it too. I think that's pretty cool. I like the way this overlaps here. So you might like to tr try uh, making a crayon rubbing texture picture like this. And then you, this is where you might want to go back in and use your uh, Sharpie and add some Emphasize some things. If you wanted to. Just add some interesting lines to your picture that you made. And of course, when you do it, don't forget also that you want to sign your work because you're the artist. That's, isn't that beautiful? I can't wait to see what you do. So whether you use a lot of different things and a lot of different textures, or if you just find one interesting object and use it to make textures, I'm sure that your work is going to be very beautiful and very unique because each of you have your own special ideas and way of creating. So be sure and share with me what you do. Well, it's already time to go and uh, I've had so much fun and I hope you have too. So before we go, let's sing our goodbye song and I would love it if you would sing it with me, okay? <laughs> Today is a new beginning. Maybe yesterday was a hard day but I hope today is a better day for you. Every day is a new beginning. At least that's what they say. Every day is a new beginning. So what will you do today? Will you say a kind word? Will you paint with your heart? Will you listen to a bird? Will you make a new start? There's no end to what you can do with a brand new page. Could you talk to a friend? Could you dance for a while? Could you play a fun game? Would you give me a smile? There's no end to what you can do with this brand new day. There's no end to what you can do with this brand new day. Remember, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you for coming and joining me today for Art Time. I had so much fun and I hope you did too. And I'm looking forward to seeing you again really soon. But until then, Bye-bye.